You can almost feel the wind coursing through your hair as 5,700 cyclists wound their way down to the Chesapeake Bay this fall in the Seagull Century, the largest cycling event east of the Mississippi. Sponsored by Salisbury State University, this wondrous wheeled event has become a magnificent merging of cycles and seagulls. In the world of bicycling, a century is a 100-mile or 100-kilometer organized ride with many centuries offering both distances. Though loosely equivalent to a runner's marathon, the emphasis is on finishing and having fun rather than competing and having won. And not many people can throw a century party like the folks at Salisbury State University. It's an attitude, you know. The Seagull Century is celebrated nationwide as the best way to end the cycling season before the air chills and nippy short days descend upon the Northeast. Last year, we were rated one of the top three um, century events in the country by the League of American Bicyclists. Jim Phillips, director of security at the university, doubles as the coordinator of this massive effort and has watched it grow over the years. We started getting serious about uh, recreational cycling as a result of a uh, event that we had here in the summer of 89. We had about 67 people ride in that first ride. For all of this year's 5,700 riders from across North America, the journey begins early in the morning with a nearly unanimous feeling of goodwill about the Seagull Century. It's flat. <laughs> I love it. Well, that is an eastern shore pancake, yeah? And not a lot of hills. The only hill is the Estique Island Bridge. Flat. Yeah, it's flat. <laughs> flat. And it's nice and flat. <laughs> Man, it's chilly this morning. Replenishing the energy of the cycling swarm can be a logistics nightmare and is the charge of Dick Yobst, director of administrative services and former football coach at Salisbury State. The first stop, we have uh, bananas, oranges, apples, bagels, cream cheese, and fig newtons. Three trucks back up to the cafeteria and will be filled with food, one for each of the food rest stops along the route. If you'd have been on time, Kevin, we'd have been done by now. The rookie. Hi, Bob. The ride turns into miles of humanity on wheels, all the way to the first rest stop, 22 miles out. As cyclists arrive, they recharge their batteries. The first rest stop is at Milburn Landing State Park, uh, and that's located on the uh, Pocomoke River between uh, Pocomoke City and Snow Hill. Um, it's a, a pretty, pretty park. Uh, with the river as a backdrop. People are feeling uh, physically and mentally, uh, they're, they're very up. Big Newtons, aren't just cooking. <laughs> then uh, you leave there and um, maybe 30, 35 miles, 40 miles out, you realize that uh, you know you're not halfway yet, and you're starting to feel it a little bit. I think most people are starting to uh, starting to feel bad, and you're starting to wonder where, whether you're going to make it to Assateague or not. My legs are tired. The second rest stop is at Assateague State Park, and it resembles a catastrophe zone. This younger generation, weak in the knees. That's right. Don't know if you got a broken collarbone or shoulder or what's the deal. I don't think I've eaten as many bananas since I came out of the jungle many years ago, as a matter of fact. How many people have you fed today? Jeez, I don't know. I'd say about 3,500 so far. Dick Yobst has an additional reason to root for the century's continued success. He is also president of the board of directors for the area's Habitat for Humanity, which benefits from this event. The Salisbury State Bicycle Club matches contributions made by Century participants and are helping to build a community. The money that was donated last year amounted to about $10,000, and that was just a little less than half of what it cost to build one of these homes. It's $25,000 as an average cost for each one of these houses. This year we've had $14,000, actually $15,000 donated as a result of the 
Seagull Century. Coming from here to the first, from the first stop, the wind's much harder. They'll have the wind going back from here on. They'll be happy. They will be happy. They don't believe me, but they'll be happy. I think it's another high point of the ride because uh, when you turn around at Assateague, you're on the way home. So every time you turn the crank, you're that much closer to home. Still, it's another 25 miles past some unimpressed residents to the third rest stop, which features music and a lavish treat, pie a la mode. Apple pie, but, pie but I won't eat that. It's a pie stop. It's a pie stop, you have to do it. Oh, yeah, it's a tradition I think they have here every year. Third piece is pretty good. <laughs> Others are just determined to leave. I'm going to get back on the road. I am tired. My legs are killing me, my thighs, everything. <laughs> But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And that is the payoff. To finish in the afternoon the goal you set in the morning. The ride home is raw, rewarding, and can even spark a rivalry. Doing it next year, definitely. You had that much fun? Yeah. I think I'm going to do the 100 miler. You're not going to. I might. I might. I'm going to try to do the 100 miler next year. How about you? Uh, I'll do whatever she's doing. <laughs> so proud of myself. Congratulations. Oh, I feel just great. Let's do it again. In a, in a year. It's great. Absolutely. How about you? How do you feel? Not too good. Not too good. Oh, yeah. On my butt. Rewards come in many different forms. From the cyclists to Dick Yost to Habitat for Humanity, the rewards of the Seagull Century are multi-layered. But only those who work the Seagull Century base their performance on the enjoyment of everyone else. We get um, letters, comments. Uh, for the first time this year, we're starting to get email. People tell us it's, it's the best they've ever done, the, the best in the country, and that uh, you just feel good about being a part of, of that quality. I think those kind of things are uh, are what's what's most rewarding. I can't keep up with her.